Love is the ultimate So don't you dare forget Yo, the answer to every question Yo, love Somewhere taken out of our natural core, core and natural order of things. We live against nature. We live in this harmony with nature, so we suffer the consequences of that. You know, we come to the point where we understand that our diet or our way that we consume should be a cruelty-free consumption. Right. No, other, no other species should suffer. Should not give its life. Should not try to have to fight for its life. You know, because no species should lay down and say, "Okay, eat me." You have to really, literally psych it into getting get exactly. Or you have to chase it down or experience and that's all going to resist death. Because death is unnatural. Right. It's an unnatural phenomenon. You know, people say everybody, everything must die, but they say that because they're afraid to live. So the point is that, you know, where did that come from? Where's that mindset? You know, I always think about the fact when Tavi was clearing us off and cleaning us out, you know, whether or not we were eating better so we can die better. We were eating better so we can die better or have a better autopsy or clean our autopsy. We are striving to get back to the normal way of how we can live as long as we desire to live and as long as we have a service to provide and a mission and a purpose that we have every reason to be here as long as we desire to be here. But you can do that when you get back to the cellular level of love, cellular level of living because the cell and the DNA remembers that you're immortal. The DNA is immortal. It doesn't die. It never dies. The only thing that dies is the ideas and the certain behaviors and patterns and the BS belief systems that we have that create the system that we live in now. So being here at this newly uh, established event uh, and being here to be able to tell that uh, the Sabi family that they are still respected and, and, and appreciated and that Sabi stepping out of the way uh, was, was, was uh, an ideal way to get out of the way of what he thought was something that he could observe better from the ancestral realm. And he has lived a very productive, very successful, very purposeful life. And we know that we're sitting in the now, we're living in his afterlife. And we say that we're more thankful for his coming through, stopping by here, and his first step not to quit. So he has a direct solution. What we need in this time One love, one heart, one mind You know what's a message for mankind One love, one heart, one mind That's what we need in this time One love, one heart, one mind Yo, message for mankind So much hatred, we segregated Innocent people annihilated Wasted dreams and aspiration Twisted schemes and preparation The people of my cry for reparation No more them take manipulation I turn blind eye Are you I enjoying yourself? Oh my goodness, this is such a wonderful Don't experience I'm so grateful that I was able to make it to be here It's just so gratifying to be here with you guys And I'm so grateful you know, um, on the same accord, healing, um, nurturing the self, becoming empowered, and, and, and spreading that abroad, empowering other people. Now, what made you actually come out, sister? Because I know a lot of people say they couldn't make it and stuff like that, and we understand that. But what gave you the drive to actually get in your car and drive five hours? Like I said, it speaks of the urgency 
that I have inside of me to seek this type of healing, to seek this type of energy to be around it, as well as the urgency that's needed for the community. Someone has to come get it to be able to give it out. So that is what it was. Um, it, I just, on a Saturday, just having time to just sit at home, I made the time to come out because this was important. It was important for me to bring my son. It was just important to be here just to see, just to see, to see, to see for myself. That's what I'm talking about. And we glad to see you here, sister, definitely, because guess what? Our men, your men, your, your sons, that we we hard headed right now. But guess what, fellas? Guess what? She ain't messing with no meat eaters. Just letting you. We just throwing it out there, yes. sister. Yes. <laughs> sister K. Look at, we're both. We're both. Me and brother, we both okay, right? Because we know this is historic. Historic. We gotta get this. So I was like, I was asking the sister right here, what possessed you, sister, to take out your your time and your with your family to actually come out here and support this event. I mean, I just couldn't miss it. You know what I mean? Like I told you, I was really tired and I didn't want to get up. But I've learned that that's when you need to do something most. Ooh. Anytime you don't feel like it, that's when you really need it. And I just, I just wanted to come through and show them some love and support. And um, I couldn't resist it. And then when I knew you would be here too, I was like, ah, oh, I gotta go. Because you came from New Orleans. And All the way from New Orleans. Oh, and here's Save. People are like, oh, you here with I don't She's do the camera. So she is wonderful. Running. <laughs> She's running from the camera. She should be right here, front and center. She should be the main one talking. He tried it. He was no, the she, first person to get me on the camera. Sorry, and it was hard. Just, just briefly about autism. <laughs> <laughs> so you bring me back here. <laughs> What's up with it, fellas? Man, what y'all doing here, man? Came to get some of that, some of them herbs, bro. Yeah, came right out. See man, man, it's like gold back here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Unrecognizable gold, cause you could bring it to the hood and tell them what y'all got, and they won't even believe it. <laughs> All right, what y'all, where y'all coming from? Y'all from Atlanta, huh? South Carolina. South Carolina. Oh, man, all the way from South Carolina, man. So all y'all who had them excuses, man, the brothers and them showed up, man. All right, fellas, peace and love, man. What's up with it, my brother, man? What you copping right there, bro? Oh, man, this is man, or man. Oh, there you go. You trying to get right, man. You already know what that's about. <laughs> You can't hide that one, bro. Nah, I can't hide that one, <laughs> But hey, you need it. <laughs> and look, that's the, uh, let me see. Here you go, right? That's the fig tree right there, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the same thing. Okay. It's nice to see the family come together, man. Yeah, I got some of the You know about the cell cleaners? Yeah, look. She's the first one I've known to put it in the pill form. Everybody else had it the liquid, which makes it hard to drink. Like it's real, really, really nasty. Yeah. Only it's the bitter. Right, right. Yeah, bitter. It's the bitter that we didn't have. We got spicy, sour, and sweet. That's the only taste buds we got. So when we see people take that, all of a sudden they're like, ugh, it's nasty. But then you get used to it, and then your body crave it. Oh, man, can I get some more of that cell cleanser? And now you just, my uncle gave him some. He said, boy, you trying to kill me? I said, man, no, that food you was even trying to kill you. He sent me a text message I can show you. Thank you, you saved my life. Because he was started spitting up all the mucus. He was in the bathroom and all the mucus started coming out. All because of that cell cleanser, yeah. Because it, it strips everything from here. From here, on top of the brain, and in the body. Wherever you got mucus uh, that has been compromised, that cell cleanser is going to flush it out. That's why it helps people lose weight, too. Then, yeah. But he's like reading everything now. He goes up to the Viento. He goes, I see you got Viento. Oh, little man. Message for mankind One love, one heart, one mind That's what we need in this time One love, one What's up with it, brother? 
right? See your queen took you to the, some royal stuff going on right yeah, here, bro. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I'm jealous of y'all got this in Atlanta, man. You know what I'm saying? All the way from New Orleans, and y'all got a gold mine right here posted up, man. Like, literally, bro. Ah, all right, all right. I'm right, man. That's what I'm talking about. Good to see y'all here. What's up, man? There you go, destroy no college. Instead of build up, them not stop from demolition. ghetto. How we get down there so now for them no no gunshot at the echo every evening no kill no more. That's what we bleed in, I agree one heart, one mind. That's what we need in this time. One love, one heart, one mind. You know what's a message for mankind? One love, one heart, one mind. That's what we need in this time. One love, one heart, one mind. Yo, message for mankind. 